More infections reported over the weekend. Taiwan is now experiencing rising daily infections. 一则又一则的国际新闻，讲述着台湾严峻的本土疫情。过去被称作防疫模范生的台湾，防疫防线遭击溃，是什么原因？英国《卫报》标题写道：“自身成功的受害者为何台湾没能设法因应大规模疫情爆发？”报道指出，航空人员染疫事件促使疫情大爆发，原以为不会发生的事情，让台湾政府措手不及，凸显当局没有超前部署检测与医疗量能。《金融时报》则引述传染病专家表示，台湾白白浪费了从其他国家经验学习的大好机会，因为过去十六个月间，在欧美、印度等地发生的供氧设备不足，医院来不及收治新增病患。等状况，如今就在台湾上演。德国之声则引述美国学者季俊辉的说法，指出目前这波变种病毒传染力超强，但台湾民众的防疫措施还停留在应付感染力较弱的第一波疫情。即使当时已经出现社区感染，但母亲节各地餐厅仍是人满为患。他直言，大多数台湾人都有点被宠坏了。时代杂志也指出，台湾去年夏天开始逐步解除防线，大型聚会变得普遍，佩戴口罩的民众也变得越来越少。They had learned what to do from back in 2003 during the SARS crisis that uh, uh, started in China and then spread uh, through Hong Kong, Taiwan, and then parts of North America and the rest of the world.、Uh, but um, uh, the fact that they had this experience, they were able to、uh, set up a command and control and communication structure from、uh, that experience, and that enabled them to act quickly.、Uh, but、uh, some say that the confidence from the past year and a half turned into complacency, and this. Is where Taiwan is now. 不过，相较国外疫情爆发后确诊数急剧上升，台湾现阶段的疫情至少堪称平稳。目前，台湾面临抗疫的关键时刻，曾经被称作“防疫模范生”的台湾，是否能挺住这一关，还有赖政府与台湾人民的信任与相互配合。新唐人亚太电视赵庭，我关林，台湾台北报道。